Good morning. You listen to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm in Hanover, Germany, at the annual Domatex show, and I'm with Dr. Andres Grujo, the member of the board with Doce Messe. Dr. Grujo, how are you doing? Super fine. <laughs> After first day of Domotex, now it's the second day noontime, and we've been very successful so far with this year's Domotex. We got a record figure regarding the square meters and exhibitors on this show. Well, thank you for agreeing to do this in English, because I can't speak German. I know that's the language you think in, but you do a great job speaking English. To talk real quickly about your background. You've actually been with Doce Messe for 22 years, so you're a seasoned executive in in the exhibition business, right? Yeah, I am definitely senior, so my gray hair is not a fake, it's true. <laughs> I was already responsible for Domotex till 2008, and since then for everything what we are doing abroad, so like the Domotex shows in Shanghai or the one we are doing in Gaziantep in Turkey, and now since last summer being, let's say, back again responsible for the Domotex in Hanover. And we set up an ambitious planning for next year, for 2018. Yeah, I want to get to that on Domotex. It's the history. Got started in 89, and back in 89, it was a textile show. It was mostly just showing soft you know, rugs and carpet, right? Yes, you're right. That was the core, that was the origin of Domotech, starting with the handmade carpets, machine-made, and as well also some producers of the wall-to-wall -wall textile. And later we added laminate and parquet. Nowadays, of course, the design uh, vinyl tiles and also the techniques for any kind of application, how to fix these floor coverings. Mm -hmm. And this is the global flooring show. Most people recognize it as that. It's one of the neat things about it, it's where the world comes to talk about the latest innovation in flooring. It's also where the world comes to meet with suppliers from around the world. Only about 10% of the exhibitors are from Germany, right? Yes, you're right. 90% of the exhibitors come from abroad. And of course, we have to count for the very last day of Domotex. But I expect somehow, I guess like maybe 60% of visitors coming from abroad, so almost two-thirds of them, that's what I'm going to expect. Mm -hmm. It's the most international show by far we organize as Deutsche Messe. Yeah. And one of the things you said yesterday I agree with is that this is a great place for, you say, Americans to come who want to do commerce with somebody from India, because this is a, a neutral place where everybody can come. The uh, German laws around visas and being able to come to one location is probably one of the better places in the world, right? Yeah, definitely. The world meets here at Domotex, so it doesn't matter if Germany is the country you'd like to sell your products or even Central Europe. Germany is a very strong market and Central Europe as well. But you might come from the US and selling products to the Chinese or maybe to a Brazilian or to African or Australian customers. No doubt about that. We have visitors from all over the world. Well, let's talk about the changes. Some people would say you make a big change. It can be disruptive, but uh, it sounds to me like you've got a lot of advisors involved in this. It's a well-thought-out decision. We'll get into some details. Just to top line it, you're changing the days of the week that you meet. This has been a Saturday to Tuesday show. Next year it will be a Friday to Monday show, still four days. But you're also changing the layout. This has been somewhat of a linear layout, and I think this has been driven by... Take, for instance, handmade rugs or less volume there, and there's more machine-made rugs. And then, again, as we've seen in our country, soft surface has shrunk down to around 40% of the business. At one point, it was 60% of the business, and hard surface has taken a lot of that. So those are two of the main reasons for this, right? You're right. The totally new layout of Domotex. Why? Because we stuck to the map of Domotex for some years, but as all shows, Domotex reflects changes in the market. It mirrors. And we have a slight decrease of importers of handmade rugs. We have a strong increase recent years by machine-made carpet producers. And we have more and more producers who produce wall-to-wall -wall textile, laminate and design vinyl tiles. But where to position them? So we moved all these sections together into one. And that's the reason why we changed the layout and to reposition all exhibitors into, let's say, a better flow of products. So we will be much more flexible. And another thing is we are going to have a theme 
from 2018 starting for each year, which will be unique universe for 2018. Yeah, let, let me comment about that because it, it, it's kind of the core of why I think Domotex is successful because, again, it's not just manufacturers meeting with buyers. You want to cover the topic of flooring. You want to talk to the specifiers, the designers. You want to talk about the trends. This year is the fourth year for the innovations at Domatex, and that's been a very successful program. You added a dimension of that this year by bringing in young people to talk about what the future of flooring may become, and you have a display of that this year at Domatex. And so next year, as you say, the theme is around individualization, which is a core part of what the homeowner wants with their flooring and so you're going to make that a whole theme yes you're totally right and uh, you mentioned these innovations at domotech sections and we'd like to have more focus towards trends we are convinced that having one central place for displaying trends would supply more impact about these trends and that's why we are going to concentrate trendy exhibitors in Hall 8 and 9, starting in 2018. And you mentioned this new aspect we added to this year's Domotex, the new designer's trend table. We invited five international renowned designers, young designers, so like wild ones. None of them was related with any kind of floor covering. So the innovations at Domotex is about highlighted innovative products you might buy. The Young Designers trend table is how a flooring product might look alike maybe in some years. They didn't care about if these products are going to be sold or how to produce them. It's just to show up ways for the future how it might be. So it should spark maybe also a controversial discussion among exhibitors and visitors what might be ideas for the future to come in a few years. All right, look forward to seeing it next year. Again, been talking to Dr. Andres Grohal, the member of the board with Dutch A. Messe at Domotex 2017 in Hanover, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.